Today on the channel, it's the return of the Kyle Peterson Top 5, and today, in honor of Mother's Day, we've got the greatest mother wrestler of all time. We're talking about my girl, Maurice. The spirit of the will run forever. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another edition of the Kyle Peterson Top 5, a Thursday tradition at this point on the channel, where every single Thursday we count down my top 5, or top 10 in certain instances, favorites of certain characters, and today, in honor of Mother's Day week, I figured no better time than to count down my favorite female superstar of all time, uh, the greatest, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, possibly ready to go into that fourth spot of Mount Rushmore of wrestling uh, legends of all time. And who am I talking about? Of course, my girl, Maurice. That old Mike the Miz. What a lucky guy with old Maurice. As Maurice is my favorite female superstar of all time. Uh, there's just no doubting that. And honestly, shockingly enough, we have at least five figures for Maurice. So we can truly do a countdown, a top five countdown, that is, of Maurice's figures over the years. And some of these might surprise you. And she's had a lot of good figures, actually. I uh, will talk about those as we always do. And of course, we're going to start at number five, count our way to number one. And remember, I always have to say this, this is my list, so I can't be wrong. There you go. But you got to put your list in order in the comments down below. Let me know your top five Maurice figures of all time. I don't know if you can do it. But it's a good one to do, and like I said, it is Mother's Day week, and I figured I should always do my favorite female performer of all time, and that's got to be Maurice. It just has to be. She's just something special, and I wish she would return to TV on a weekly basis. It would be great for all of us, uh, but I don't know if that's in the cards. It doesn't seem to be at this point, but without any further ado, let's kick it off. Let's take a look at the top five Maurice figures of all time. All right, let's kick off the top five Maurice figures. And number five, we go to Jax. Yes, Maurice has been around quite some time. Uh, some of people, and most people, I would say, don't even realize she had a Jax ruthless aggression style figure way back in the day uh straight off of the diva search i guess you would say with maurice at the time uh just a young girl trying to find her way in the wwe and she came to us in jack's ruthless aggression series 36 and we got our first ever maurice figure there now Say what you want about Jax. I know a lot of people are down on him, but at the time, they felt really good. I would say all these years later, hasn't been as nice as Mattel was uh, to old Maurice and all of her curves and everything else. But an interesting one is we know with the Jax Ruthless Aggression style female figures, they were basically all the same figure. They all had the same body, just a different head. And not the greatest head on Maurice, but honestly, you put these against a bunch of other female Jax figures, I'm going to look at it, I'm going to say... Yeah, that's Maurice. I think I could guess the head on this one. Uh, it's a little bit off. It is much, much younger Maurice. Of course, we're talking early 20s version of Maurice, but it is definitely her. Not the easiest Ruthless Aggression figure to find either. And like I said, it was in the traditional Ruthless Aggression Series 36 line here. Uh, but good for what it is. You got to kind of put yourself back in that time frame. You can't really compare this to the Mattel where we get different body types and things like that and great accessories. This is just all straight up Maurice in her bikini and her boots. That's all we get here. And hey, I'm all right with that. I'll take it. Uh, but it's an interesting one. She does suffer a little bit from that Jack sticky disease. The hair has got a little hair of stickiness to it. Uh, but an interesting version of Maurice. And this one comes in at number five as we do see a lot of improvements in uh, series, or not series, but figures one through four on the list here. But uh, for me, Jack's Ruthless Aggression Series 36 Coming in at number five. All right, we're at the number four spot in my top five Maurice figures of all time. And number four comes to us from Mattel. It comes from us from the Mattel Battle Pack line. Mattel Battle Pack Series 46 is Maurice number four on my countdown here. This is manager version of Maurice. And this is an interesting figure as it uh, changed the pace of my collecting, believe it or not. Uh, of course, I saw this Series 46 Miz and Maurice on the shelves like I saw Series 1 through 45 on the shelf. Always passing it by, never picking up any battle packs. I was strictly an elite person at this point. I don't even know if I was 100% 
all in on elites at this point either. I think I was. I think I was getting every single elite at this time because I didn't start buying every single elite. I had to go back and get a lot of them back in the day. Uh, I'd have to put the pen to paper to figure that math out. Uh, but Maurice in Series 46 Battle Pack turned the corner in my collecting where I saw this Maurice and I said, gosh, we haven't had an, a good elite Maurice. We haven't had a Maurice besides her basic. I don't know. I don't know about this one. It looks good. And that's where a light bulb hit me. And I just sat there and I said, oh my gosh, I think I got an idea. And that's the way it usually spirals out of control real quick. So what I ended up doing was I picked up this battle pack and I justified it to myself. Well, we're never going to get an elite manager, Maurice. And basically, if you guys know the history of the Mattel females, this is basically uh, elite articulation, of course. But I said... I need a manager. I need a manager, Maurice. So then I bought this basic. I bought that pack, and I said, you know what? I need to go back, and I look, and I ended up buying a lot of street gear figures, suited figures, things like that that I'd passed on previously, and then I justified it to myself that there's enough meat on the bone. There's enough differences. You need some of those ancillary background characters. You need suited figures. You need managers like Maurice in your collection to go with your elites. Now, the Miz figure I sold right away. I think I flipped it for a couple of bucks because I didn't need a basic Miz. We had a lot of elite Mizzes, but the Maurice I held on to, and that really did do a tipping point in my collecting of the WWE line with this very Maurice figure. So always an interesting one, and one that comes in at number four on my top five Maurice countdown. All right, we're halfway there. We're at the halfway point of my top five Maurice figures of all time. Do you have your list together? Can you even do a list? Well, you should, because like I said, Maurice, probably the greatest wrestling superstar of all time in the females division. I mean, it has to be. I mean, the Mount Rushmore of wrestling has to be the ultimate warrior, Terry Funk, Ric Flair, and then probably Maurice. I don't know. I can't think of an argument that that wouldn't be the case, but you guys know me. I'm very uh, much a fan of Maurice, and I figured Mother's Day week, like I said, perfect time to talk a little Maurice. I don't know when else to get it in there. Figured the time was now, and if I ever know anything about opportunities, you got to strike while the iron is hot. But number three, we go to Mattel once again. We go all the way back to Basic Series 8. We're at like Basic Series 130 now, so this is a long time ago. And this is back when Maurice was an active female competitor, and this is her only wrestling gear figure in the basic line, which as I talked about earlier, the basics were basically elite in the female figures uh, back in the day and not anymore, unfortunately. But basic series eight, Maurice is what's coming in at number three. Uh, a lot of good detail to this. Like I said, elite style articulation here, here in her patented purple, much younger in the face, Maurice. And Maurice has been beautiful throughout all the years, but she really did look really young because guess what? She was young back in the day. Uh, but she really did look a little different compared to nowadays, of course. Uh, but really good. I love that they gave her like kind of her patented uh, waving hand. You know, she would always kind of do that. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna reenact it. I can't do it as well. But she always did that going on. And then we did get some tattoo work on her uh, wrist there. So I thought that was really good. I thought that face scan, head scan here was tremendous. I thought this was just a very, very solid figure. And I'm happy to represent an older version of Maurice from way back in the line in her wrestling gear in my female uh, display in my Detolfs, of course. Definitely better uh, than the Jax figure we saw at number five. Just a very solid, basic female figure here. And that's why Maurice comes in at number three, the Series 8 Basic. All right, the hits keep on coming. And at number two is another battle pack. And this is a tremendous idea. I love this from the word go. I remember seeing the announcement this was coming out. And I said, this is absolutely genius. This is what we need more of in Mattel. Uh, a one-time deal. Well, what is it? We're talking Battle Pack Series 51. Once again, of course, with The Miz. But something's a little bit different on this one. If you guys remember back to the WrestleMania... I'd have to look it up. I can't remember off the top of my head. WrestleMania feud with John Cena and Nikki Bella versus Miz and Maurice. It wrote itself, basically. But for Mattel to dive in, and based off a skit we saw on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown, whatever it was, of Maurice and The Miz dressed as Nikki Bella and John Cena... I thought that was one of the most uh, coolest things Mattel has done, and it was a perfect battle pack idea, and I absolutely love this one. That's why it's so high at number two on my list here. Uh, the Miz is what it is. You can basically, I mean, once again, got to get the most out of your molds. It's basically a John Cena figure with a Miz head on it. 
Very, very easy to do. But this one is very interesting because at first you kind of think it's Nikki Bella. And once again, it really is Nikki Bella body, Maurice head. But they did, of course, give Maurice the dark hair, which I'm so used to Maurice being blonde. It was a nice change of pace to see what she'd look like in a little darker hairdo uh, for once. But I really do like this one. Stay fearless, the Nikki Bella body, all that kind of stuff going on. But just awesome with her face here. Uh, it just kind of plays tricks on you. And I just think it was a really uh, cool thing for Mattel to take that and run with it. Give us something different. A nice change of pace there. And just a fabulous Maurice. And once again, you get elite articulation with this one. Uh, this being a battle pack before they change the articulation and all that kind of fun stuff. But just a solid, tremendous pack. A moment in time if there ever was one. And very high on my list. Coming in at number two in my top five Maurice figures of all time. All right, we've come to the end of the line. It's time to reveal my number one Maurice figure of all time. But before I do that, you've made it this far. You might as well thumbs up the video. You know you want to. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. And of course, follow along on Patreon where you can get this video and a lot of other videos weeks, sometimes months earlier. You get bonus content. You get giveaways. A lot going on on the Patreon. And most of all, you do support the channel. So check out the Patreon link in the description below so the number one maurice figure of all time i think some of you guys can guess this one and i think if you guys were doing a list and put it in the comments down below this is probably pretty high on the list for you and probably a lot of people have a number one and it, we do go back once again to mattel we do go to the elite line but we go to the women's elite sub line if you guys remember that one this was the walgreens exclusive back in the day a beautiful version of Maurice. Quite the outfit when she had accompanied the Miz to the ring. I believe, was it SummerSlam? Once again, I can't remember. But it is a quite the outfit here. Quite the outfit back then. Quite the outfit in figure form. She does come with a removable hat as well. And it was really awesome that she also came with the white intercontinental title. Now, this did go to clearance fairly recently at uh, a lot of Walgreens stores out there for like $2 and some change. Uh, I definitely picked up a few of those uh, for myself at $2. You can't really turn down a $2 Elite. I know we donated a ton of those last Christmas to Toy Drives. Uh, so a lot of young kids out there were very happy, I'm sure, Christmas morning to get Maurice in Elite form. I can't think of a better present if you ask me. Little kids love Maurice action figures. Uh, we also threw some Alexa Blisses in there, uh, and there were some other figures as well, but uh, pretty heavy on the Alexa Blisses and a couple of Maurices that got a sneak in. But an absolute slam dunk elite. I love this one. That is why it's number one for me. Beautiful design, beautiful look. I mean, it almost looks like uh, a heavy metal uh, days back in the 80s, some heavy metal music videos. It looks like she walked right out of one of those videos is what it looks like. Fabulous, Maurice. Just absolutely fabulous. I don't think this will ever be topped. And I'm not sure if we'll ever get another Maurice figure. Maybe possibly a battle pack once again. But I don't know if the ship has sailed on an elite version of Maurice. But Mattel, if you're watching, we need at least a basic or a showdown pack with Maurice. We need an updated current day Maurice. She's been on TV enough. Get us one of those. So I'm calling the charge. I'm leading the charge. Somebody jump on the back of the wagon. Let's get some more Maurice figures. Do it for Kyle. Do it for Mother's Day. Because, hey, why not? So there it is, my top five Maurice figures of all time. A little bit tongue-in-cheek with this video, but figured it was the time to do it. And Mother's Day, uh, you know, only comes around once a year. So say uh, hello to all your moms out there. Make sure you don't forget them. Give them a call. See them in person. All that kind of fun stuff as you would do on Mother's Day. And then, of course, for me, if you want to reach out to me, hit me up on social media. SirPaul64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And, of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. So for my girl, Maurice, I am Kyle. I will see you guys all real soon.